This is Jim Reinbold with Carlson Software. We're going to go through a little explanation of the new coordinate file format that Carlson introduced in 2014 called CRDB. To show this, we're going to actually start a new drawing. Use a standard template with it. Go ahead and name this drawing. I'm not used to typing five letter words, so we'll just stick with home for the drawing name. Uh, 50 scale is a little big. I'm going to knock that down to 20 scale. Go next. And rather than using the default one here, I'm going to create a new coordinate file and actually type in the name. The existing home CRD there is the one that came off the data collector we used when doing this survey. But to lock the points, we need to create a CRDB file. The only way to create this file is by typing in the name and the extension. Uh, if you just type in the name, it's automatically going to do a CRD only. So now we have our CRDB. And we're not going to draw any of these points in the drawing at this time because there aren't any in it. So I have my CRDB file up here. Now what I want to do is get those points from the survey that we did with CE. So I'm going to go to Points, Point Utilities, and we're going to copy merge CRD files. We're going to import points into our current CRDB file from the home CRD file. you notice there's about 410 points in here. We'll just go ahead and bring them all in. Notes that there are no unresolved conflicts, so we're good to go. If we go to points and list, we can see that we have a whole bunch of points. Now that we have our CRDB file created, we're going to go ahead and lock some of the control points or corners for the property. We go to points, lock points, and lock points. First, we need to tell it what range area or selection set we're using. Here, we'll just tell it we want to select from all of the points and more specifically in this case we're looking for the corners. Now a couple of these have either prefixes or suffixes so we're using a wildcard asterisk to identify that other information. We go ahead and click OK and on the command line it notes that five points have been locked. If we go to points now and edit points we'll notice something just a little bit different. Points one and two have kind of a gray background so they're locked they're locked. If I try to double click in here, it won't let me edit these. I can't backspace. Whereas here, I can go in and make changes. Same with the descriptions. They are absolutely locked. So this gives you an opportunity to set some of your points, lock them down so other users do not change. I'm not going to save any of those changes, so we go to points, draw locate, and I'm just going to use a simple X for all of these, and draw all. So there's all of our points, is if I go to points, adjust coordinates until they want to move points. And we'll just grab uh, this corner right here, try to move it. It won't let me move it. Keep in mind, when I'm moving points or manipulating them from here, I'm affecting the CRD file and the drawing. So, if you want to take advantage of the locking function, you need to make sure you're using the CRDB file. And you do that by creating the file and typing the extension CRDB. Great. Thanks, Jim.